Hello, and welcome to a new series of videos from the Columbia Gorge Discovery Center and Museum. My name is Morgan, and I work in our raptor department with, as you can see, this handsome devil here. This bird is a male great horned owl, and his name is Junior. And Junior stays with us at the Discovery Center as an ambassador to help teach us as humans about raptors, wildlife, birds, and prey. Because out there in our environment, there are so many interactions that are happening and we don't always take the time to learn about them or get to know them. However, Junior is still a wild animal and under ideal conditions, he would be living out there in the wilds still. Unfortunately, the reason Junior is so happy to work with me goes back to his young history and the same reason why he can't live in the wilds today. When Junior was just a nestling, or as some people call a brancher, or as one person once told me, a walking owl. He was covered in a soft layer of downy fluff that provided warmth and some camouflage ability, but he didn't yet have his flight feathers. He was at the stage where he still relied on his parents for food and for protection. Unfortunately, when Junior was found by humans, he was found on the ground in the middle of a field. The human who happened to stumble upon Junior, a member of the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, realized that as a young owl at this stage, Junior shouldn't have been on the ground on his own. He should have been somewhere near his parents. This human went looking around for where Junior belonged, looking high above, looking down below. Because great horned owls don't build their own nests, they take the nests built by other birds, which means those nests can be just about anywhere. The human, unable to find where Junior belonged, tried to make the next best decision he could. He took young Junior to the local wildlife rehabilitation clinic. Ideally, Junior could have been placed with another nest of wild great horned owls who could teach him how to be a great horned owl, maybe placed with some captive adult great horned owls who could serve as foster parents, or even place Junior, it happens, or even place Junior with a group of other young owls so that they can learn how to be owls together. It was while Junior was at the Wildlife Rehabilitation Clinic though, they noticed something was a little bit off about him. Junior was having trouble finding food. He was having trouble navigating in three-dimensional spaces. He just seemed to have trouble seeing the world around him. After a few months, his vision hadn't been improving, so Junior was declared non-releasable. A non-releasable animal is one that is otherwise pretty good health and overall condition, but there's just something about them that makes it so that they can't survive in the wild on their own. It could be an injured wing, it could be injuries in their eyes, maybe a bird is even deaf. Whatever the case was, young Junior, not even a full year old, couldn't be returned to the wild. And so he was transferred into our care here at the Columbia Gorge Discovery Center. Spring of 2021, or winter, depending how you think about it, Junior will be 14 years old. So he's been with us for quite a long time. And in that time, he's become pretty acclimated to us as humans. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to sharing some more fun facts about Junior and great horned owls in the next ones.